where is creation for all? Where is creation now? Go to the, to the to four sectors. Commercial agriculture, industries, services, and ICT. Now, if you go into, into, all the, into those, you, you definitely join the money economy because part of the problem of, of Uganda here, I don't know about the, the other countries, but the, the majority of the people were outside the money economy. They were just working for eating, yeah, working for eating. Not working for eating and selling. So, with, with agriculture, in order to feed yourself and, and have something to sell, we, we have been educating them about commercial agriculture. But commercial agriculture, we add with the Echivaro. Echivaro is our word. Meaning, kwa kiswahili tunaweza kusema kuchambua to, to, to assess how much you'll get. Because our people are doing things just blindly. Cotton, a crop like cotton, is good for the country, but if you have got a small acreage, you will not get much money out of it. So is uh, maize, so, so is sugar cane. There are some crops which only make money when you do them on a big scale. But there are others which can give you money even if you do it on a small scale. So that's why we are saying join commercial agriculture with the echivaro. In, in Luo, we say chura. And that's a very big struggle because in order to do that, you must establish the average land holding of the homesteads. What is the average land holding? Many of our families have already fragmented the land. And even in other parts of, 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 Africa, of East Africa, if you go to Kilimanjaro, those, those Wachaga there have fragmented the land, the Kikuyus. Even when I fly over uh, this, uh, the Kisi, you, you, you can see the, they are all Bukoba. The land, land has been fragmented. So what do you do if you have got only two acres? Shugurigani, what activity can you do in one, in one acre? which will give you enough income for your, for your family. We're assuming the other acre is for food. You, you produce food in the other one. This has been a big struggle because there are so many confusing messages. People don't get it easily. Like in this case, we, we, we insist, please separate intensive agriculture where you, you go for the high value enterprises from extensive agriculture, where you can get small per acre, but because you have done it on a big scale, you will end up getting good money. Now, people here don't get it so quickly, but we have been struggling. And in the cattle corridor, which is to the west of here, we have done a good, a good job. People have joined the dairy farming. But where we are now, some of the areas where we are are mainly crop areas. And this is where we have been fighting for, to, to get this concept of intensive agriculture to get the people with small land out of poverty. Now, when I came here, of course, I was preaching this message, but I had, uh, it was not easy because people just, you get a lot of contradictory messages. This one is talking this, this one is talking that. But eventually people listened to what I was telling them. 